Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the making of my game, Traffic Travelers. The first thing I did in these recordings was make it so the level would gradually speed up over time. I just did this by adding time.delta time to the speed, but dividing time.delta time so it was a very small number. I also had to make sure that the procedural generations spawned faster and faster proportional to the environment's speed. This part required a lot of playtesting, but I think I got it to a good spot. I did have to squash a couple bugs with collision, because the train would kill you when you went too fast up the ramp. It would still sometimes do that, but only if you stay alive for around 5 minutes, which would be a task. Now here is where the meat of the video comes in. I made the item store menu functioning so I could sell skins and items. Items will start next episode, and boy let me tell you they are fun! I made some quick button UI with forward and backward buttons and a purchase button, as well as a cost text to show how much an item costs. I may have to make this UI better in the future, but for now I think it looks great. Now here's where the bigger meat comes in, but I don't have anything bigger than ham, so here's just my thumb again. I started making a skin, starting with a basic knight with the mask in the vein of a shovel knight, or meta knight mask. Then in the item shop code, I made an array of skins that were up for purchase, as well as an array of skins that were owned, so that I was able to easily keep track of the player money and what they could spend it on. If only it were easy. This part alone took me two hours of a night and three more hours of a morning of delving deeper and deeper and deeper into my insanity to figure it out. But once I got the base script done, I could actually easily modify the code to allow for more skins and more items to buy. While anguishing over the code for the item shop, I got a smiley faced man, a punk man, and an artist skin done. So I was able to test the system and it somehow worked, thank goodness. You know, it's always fun when you literally get thousands of errors in a couple seconds. But I fixed it! Nothing spaghetti code can't solve. By this point, I was done with coding. So I worked on some more skins. I made a flower shirt girl. A robot girl. A character based on the 1930s cartoon style like Cuphead. Finally, I made a French man, an Amazonian warrior, a callback character to my Brackies 2020 Game Jam game, and a duck lady. Duck lady. I attempted a mummy, but it looked a little weird, so I ditched it. So that's it for this devlog. I know it's a little shorter than usual, but I wanted to give you guys some stuff to hold over until I made the items for next episode. I'm gonna be taking part in the Danny Basement Jam too, so I hope I'll see some of your guys' submissions too. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapses, and let me know if you want to see any more character time lapses or any other characters that I should make, or if I should keep them hidden so you guys can experience it at release. Be sure to like and subscribe so I can continue making content like this. If you want some more behind the scenes, check out my Discord in the description, as I've been sewing, showing off some of my newer updates, such as sneak peeks of characters I'm making that people there loved, as well as even some sneak peeks of items. Check it out, and with that, I'll check you later. Happy New Year, and let's all make it a good one. Bye!